Welcome to May Thomas Trash Talk. Today we're talking about trees. Um, no, we're not. Uh, we're talking. We could. Me, yeah. Um, Theoretically. Why does Henry? But enjoy I don't trees? want to. Um, let's talk about music. Okay. Which Cogsworth does not I, like. I can actually discuss music on the show. Sadly, I've heard a lot of it. Not a lot. A sampling. Really? Sampling. A smidgen of a bounce. We're gonna call Are you not the person <laughs> who has played Thomas music during a road trip? Well, that's because it gives energy, but that's just, that's a sampling. That's not- Who else? <laughs> who else? Who else would who else? play Thomas music during Comment a road trip? I, I Melinda, <laughs> that's my problem. <laughs> anyway, oh, the music. Um, so, Long Legacy, lots of songs. Somehow people still know all of them. When we did our live show, the kids knew the new stuff, but they still knew the classic stuff. Classic is a new word for old. Yes. I'm being kind. I she don't know why, but I... Uh. <laughs> Thomas is kind. No, he's not! <laughs> he is judgmental and obnoxious okay. and bad at his job! Thomas is kind of obnoxious and kind of bad at his job, but he's kind. <laughs> That's like kind saying you're pretty, pretty dumb. Like what? It's pretty standard kids show music. Let's no, be real. it is the legendary top of the peak Zeus. Red and -like. green and brown <laughs> and blue. Yes, it's, uh, those lyrics. Okay, I not mean, they're the, not my favorite lyrics. My favorite lyrics still have to be "I believe in getting even." That's what I believe. I mean, yeah. Um, but it's about on par. So I feel like we had like we started in like an oh, okay spot, like okay kids music whatever, and then we kind of like had a few songs that were like wow these are really great. So like accents will happen, great song, bop, and then we kind of like I can't as like things like started to trickle in season <gasps> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Like the music just kind of went. It just kind of goes. And they all sound like. The sky is blue and the trains are too. It's it sounds. They I mean these songs get real Yikes. stupid, like bad. And I'm like, who's listening to this? I got it picked um, up though. Cause... That's what I was gonna say. Is like the last few years the music has been. Go so go Thomas good. is not bad. That's when it started to really um, shift. Um, World Big Adventures theme. It's good. Well, because it bet. calls back to the original theme, and it does a good job, because at first the... Do, 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 like, that just, it's jazzy, it's, and, like, yeah. lively, and not super patronizing. Um, Rats and great, and, oh, sorry, those are the wrong words now. No, we've done Go Go Thomas a, a lot. It was the easiest one to do for a uh, promo. Uh, yeah, yeah, um... And that was the boppiest out of the yeah. ones that we could do at that time. Streamlining has some like mouthful bits. The music for the show itself also went through transitions where it started like the, the instrumental bits where it like was oh, decent yeah. good. You recognize what character was out there by the music and then it kind of dipped and you were like, what the hell is happening with this? And then it came back up and you were like, oh, this is good again. Like they finally figured out that like music has to be good. It's not good for kids or good for adults or good for, it has to be good, Well, and it's, it's easier if you have specific music for specific characters or for specific locations, as opposed to just being like, I need noise Which to is fill in the background was. of this shot, yeah. They might as well have just gotten like a xylophone and a recorder for most of the seasons in the middle where it's just yeah. like, da -da 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 -da, and it's just like, well, and that's Nothing. something that, like, shows will switch out who does their background music yeah. and their transition music, and it, it, most people have no idea, because um, it's pretty common for, like, a composer to come on for a season of a show. But the songs are good again, which is good. Yeah. Everything is good again. Yeah. So stop yeah. complaining. Um, Sometimes I'm getting a little weirded out by the, like the songs where there's a ton of characters and it's like look at the character voices and they sing and like some of them come across really awkward um where's thomas is what's coming to mind there like 
what a good song. Oh, quite a few of, I feel like what's happening is most of these voice actors were not cast with the plan for them to no, sing. No, no, and then they went. So now. What, was, what it was for a while was it was just like, oh, we're going to get kids to sing or we're going to get a, a hire somebody right. to sing the songs. And then they started to right. switch into this musical format like five years mm -hmm. ago. Because that's going to be the difference between, say, that and My Little Pony, where they knew walking in that these were going to have musical numbers regularly. Yeah. So you have, so they, they pre-plan for things, because, like, it's the same voice actress for two of the characters speaking voices, but she only does the singing voice for one of them. Because the other one, she can't sing in that range, so mm. they've got someone else to come in and fill those parts in. But they knew that walking into it, and that's why they cast people like Kara Strong as their lead. I think the other thing is that nobody's expecting trains to sing well. Well, yeah, our standard is not a, the expectations, the bar. Unless, unless it is the Starlight Express, and then I expect everyone to sing magnificently. I don't want to expect anything from Starlight Express. I, I really want rather to not go see that Starlight Express so at all. Bad. Especially in Germany. We should just do a German Thomas musical. And instead of doing it on skates, we could do it on skis. We could set it in the mountains. <laughs> I can't even. Where do I start with how wrong if you that do, is? If you do it on a mountain, you could do it outside, and the mountain is your theater space. And people screaming, going, ah! as do they you, fall over and like. Do you want to think about weather and what a nightmare that would be to deal with for every level of the production? I'm sure that the the ski lodges that are having problems with getting people to come and you know ski in the winter time would desperately need a preschool musical to put up on their mountainscape again i don't know where to start with how wrong you are how incredibly wrong you but are. but then you know what you do is the entire musical is called thomas fucks up and terrence rescues him is what the musical is called because then you have caterpillar tracks. Guess what? That's a really short show. No, you expand it. Because you like gotta, what? Because instead of doing Don't Judge a Book by its cover, where it's like, yeah, I'm gonna tell the whole story in little snippets, you do an entire song about the argument back and forth, and that's a whole song. And then you go, and then Thomas goes about his day, and he's like, I hate this tractor. He's really ugly, and I'm pretty. And blue, and blue is better than orange. And, so, and then, so that's a song. And, and but it's all in the snow. Why do I talk to you? <laughs> What's your favorite song? Where would you like to see a Thomas musical set in one random place or another? Uh, um, oh well, listen. If they can do the Little Mermaid underwater at Wikiwachi, that we surely can do a train musical in the mountains. <laughs> Anyways, I can't what's your tell favorite you how song? How much I don't want to think about that. Comment below, like, share, subscribe. Um, would you go to the ski lodge to go see Thomas and Terrence live on stage? Probably not. Neither no. would I. No. Uh, <laughs> thanks for absolutely watching. Absolutely not. Not absolutely not. Just kind of maybe so. If I'm there, I'd go see it because it'd be free, because education, and. How, I don't know, but I do kind of want to see you on skis because I just. What, oh, I'd be I, terrible. I, yeah, um, that's exactly. What I, I want. think what would be great is if, if wouldn't you want the shirt that says, "I went to the world premiere of the first and only night of the train musical on the mountain." It's, it's the Met <laughs> the Alistock opening closing yes, night yeah. sign from the producers. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Oh yes. Uh huh. Okay. That sounds great. Okay. We've been booked for a seven year run. <laughs>